My decision is by William Donalds. Finally, the day we've all been waiting for. After all of the anticipation and rumors, the day is here. Is this the beginning of the end? Is the craziness we've begun to accept as normal over? Who knows? The COVID-19 vaccine has come out and being distributed to the public. And at the very least, it is a sense of hope that all of this might be coming to an end. But what else is it? So many conflicting opinions about its effectiveness or even its legitimacy. Some argue that it is perfect and will do nothing but protect you. And others think the government is hiding something. Mm -hmm. Truthfully, no one knows, but we can all at least agree it's a step in the right direction. After the initial news flash, everyone voices their opinions online, and it's impossible to tell who's right and who's wrong. What was really crazy to me was how divided people became about whether or not people got the vaccine. I mean, nobody ever argued about a vaccine before 2020. Why are they such a big deal all of a sudden? Time passes and discussion does not. Some schools begin requiring it, and some don't. Some businesses remain closed, others open. This only made the process more difficult for me. I mean, if I had to get it for school or the gym or for work, I would in a heartbeat. But now, it's seeming like less and less things require a vaccination card. After waiting some time, the decision of whether or not to get the vaccine became urgent. I could not dodge the responsibility anymore, and it was time to make up my mind. Do I get the vaccine and risk a few days under the weather, or do I not get it and risk missing out on the things that require me to have it? I didn't like how much the decision was weighing on me. The thing that bothered me the most was thinking about how people would react to my decision. I didn't want to anger anybody. I just wanted to do what's best for me. The decision. It was time. I had to decide whether or not I was going to get vaccinated. In a weird way, the decision came to me. I read the word, TCU will not require its students to be vaccinated. And it became clear. If I can get on a plane, fly 1,600 miles to Texas, attend all my in-person classes at college, and play for the school's lacrosse team without being vaccinated, then I feel comfortable not getting it. My decision was not entirely based on what I could and could not do because of it. That would be selfish. I took into consideration the health of all the people my decision would affect. First off, myself. COVID-19 has shown that it, it is not life-threatening for healthy people my age. There's empirical data that proves this. If I know one thing, it's that getting COVID is not as big a deal as we all once thought it was. I then thought about my family. And thankfully, no one has any health conditions that would make COVID-19 dangerous. And the same goes for my extended family. And I'm very thankful for this, but I reached out anyways to see if any of them had an issue with me not getting it. And they unanimously agreed that they would still see me regardless. Without the vaccine, I could still see all my friends and family and go to school normally. For me, the bottom line was this. There is no need for me to get it. If there ever is, I will happily get it. But I still wrestled with the idea of being a threat to people that I don't know around me. But I realized that I will always wear my mask when required of me, and I will do my best to make people feel comfortable. I realized that this decision cannot define me. I know who I am. I'm a very kind and considerate person, and this decision does not change that no matter what people think. After I took my stance of not getting the vaccine, I prepared for the onslaught of questions and concerns about it. I truly felt I was in the minority as it seemed like everyone around me had it. But the coming weeks told all. I spent the rest of the summer at my same job and around the same peers. No one treated me differently or refused to see me. People would ask, are you vaccinated? And I respond, no. And their reaction was always underwhelming. Rarely were people bothered in my experience. It was only customers who were really angered. But I was allowed to work unvaccinated, so I wasn't doing anything wrong. Sometimes people would ask, why? And I'd explain, I simply found no need. But the vast majority of people, nine times out of ten, didn't care. They were just curious, but didn't actually care. I was very surprised that overall positive and non-reactions came from my decision, but they made me feel comfortable about it. I realized that I had spent so much time letting this decision weigh on me for no reason. Nothing really changed after it happened. I have been able to do everything I want. I have in-person classes, I go to home football games, and I'll even go to NFL one soon. I visited all my family and friends the same amount. 
I worked at my same job and I went on vacation via plane too. Everyone who loved me before still does. Nothing's changed.